Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you in the new year now. 2019, here we go. Hope you all had a nice break. Uh, we certainly did. Uh, we were up in northern Italy. Fantastic part of the world. Our favorite, uh, our favorite part of Europe. Highly recommend it if you get a chance. But uh, that said, now we're back. And let's get right into this. Uh, usually the first day of the year presents itself with uh, a pretty straightforward trade. This year it looks like it's going to be euro higher. Uh, we're trading 114.70 now. This is the high. Remember the 85 highs were from the 17th of January, uh, 17th of December and the 19th. That's the weekly. Let me put this up on the daily. Uh, 7th of November and the 20th of December. If we can clear um, these 86 highs, we have 115 to figure. And once we clear 115 to figure, as we spoke about uh, last month, we think this is kind of change in trend. So you can see this sideways movement down here on the lows. Uh, we see this as possibly change in trend if we have a daily close above 115. We had some negative news out in China. Um, so Aussies under pressure. These lows here, 7019, look like they're in play. But because Euro is, is going higher, uh, the trade for us is, is, is Euro Aussie. So you want to try and be long Euro Aussie here. Um, it's up almost half a percent already. Uh, but you can see this move from 62 64 is pretty powerful. We do think we are going to trade up to these important highs at 63.57 today and, and, and probably even get through those those highs. So Euro Aussie is our horse today. Uh, we will be watching closely at 86 and at the figure in Euro and we'll also be uh, watching closely um, at 15 in Aussie. Look like looks like the pre-market now that I'm just looking at um, Looking at my setups here, it looks like pre-market Aussies already printed down to 70.01. Uh, I was not watching the open of the year, uh, and so I'm not sure why TradingView is not uh, picking that up. Low here says 70.22, uh, but my liquidity, which is much more real than. Uh, Trading views liquidity says the low has been 01. So just be careful on this Aussie. It looks like pre market they slammed it, took out some stops. Um, but that does seem to be the direction. And you combine that with the gravitational pull of, of uh, CTA stops above in Euro dollar, Euro Aussie uh, is still uh, our horse. Let's look at some other things here. Equities, which have had great vol of late. Down a percent, uh, 2484. This is bearish engulfing if it closes below 2483. Obviously, a massively long day ahead of the U.S. equity market, and the proof will really be in the pudding at the uh, open. Um, open of the year which will be 3.30 p.m. today but keep an eye on this uh, don't really have a dog in this fight my bias is left hand side I'm certainly not going to hit a bit here but just want to mention that the vol has been extraordinary uh, the last sort of 20 days in this and so it's good to get strategies involved obviously there's going to be some stops now above 25.25 um, to that there might be some interesting play there but let's keep a close eye on this close below 24 let's say 80 on the day is bearish engulfing after this little miracle rally post uh, the Christmas Eve massacre 
so we want to keep an eye on that as well. And the risk off world euro yen, the key moment for us is 24.65, 124.65 should be support at 125, the figure first time down. But uh, if we are risk off, as dollar yen is quite offered already, um, these lows in euro yen will have to be. We'll have to take a closer look at these. Cable, we're not really interested in. The Brexit bullshit continues. God knows. Uh, dollar CAD. This is quite an interesting pivot area here. Looks like we've already pierced it. 96 the low. Um, if oil turns, which it's down 1.8% today, but if oil does turn, uh, or if euro shoots higher, dollar CAD looks a little bit extended. We like left hand side dollar CAD. So let's see if we get a bounce here. The low has already been 90. Uh, the low has been 89. Let's see if we get a bounce and maybe we can get a core short dollar CAD uh, going and adding through 90 when New York comes in. All right. Don't want to get uh, too wildly excited with these wild ideas. Our main idea today is Euro Aussie on the top side. Uh, we will be watching this dollar CAD left hand side and wishing you all a happy 2019 and a very profitable 2019. As I get my thoughts a little bit more organized, I will chuck some stuff up on Twitter as always. Uh, Thanks for listening, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.